right shalom everybody and may the lord bless you all uh, i hope my voice came in good and clear from your side am i heard uh, today our topic is very important you know and actually this uh, this video is a response to the scumbags or the muslims who they are insulting jesus uh, they can insult jesus as much as you as they want but here we don't insult to insult we are uh, we show proofs we don't make speeches so today, actually, uh, I saw a video of uh, David Wood and the Apostate Prophet. And the video is titled as uh, Mimi Hijab describing Jesus the same as, I mean, it's not even equal to Andrew Tate's for him. And for sure, Muhammad is the most honorable person according to the Muhammadan. So, you know, I, I saw the, the video. Uh, you know, they did a great job to answer the Abduls. However, there is way better to get those Abdul busted. Uh, Mimi Hijab in the video, I did not watch all of it. I watched maybe a few minutes, three to four minutes. Uh, he said that Muhammad, he been in many uh, war, but reality, Muhammad never fought in a war. You're a big fat liar. There's only one time Muhammad, his, he lost his tooth and he, he ran away and he hid between uh, the women. And he did not actually go to the front line. They throw a rock at him from far distance. So Muhammad never really been in war. They go and fight, and Muhammad always in the back. However, today we are going to show you a clear evidence that Muhammad, not only a coward, not only a piece of shit, he is a pimp. And I challenge all the Muslims, with no exception, to say that Christian Prince is lying and the proofs and the reference he will put in the screen are false. Do we have any Muslim who would like to join us right away in the stage and get me busted? Do we have any Muhammadan who would like to join us in the stage and get me busted about Muhammad being literally a pimp? Literally. Abdi? Never Abdi, you are a Muslim? Yes, Alhamdulillah. And why your voice is like that? My microphone is weird. Your microphone is weird or you are weird? It's my microphone. Uh, can you say to us the Shahada? Yes. What is the Shahada? Say it. Ashadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashadu anna muhammadan. So, uh, Wonderful. So you speak Arabic, right? I can read and write, but I don't understand. Huh? What do you mean you can read and write, you can understand? That's weird. How is that weird? <laughs> How you read and write, but you don't understand? It's, that's, I'm not the Arab. Yeah, but how you can read the language and write the language, but you don't understand the language? It's huh? most Muslims, man. Uh, well, you know what? Uh, as long as you can read or write, let us see what you can read for me. In the front of you here, do you see my screen? Yes. All right. Let us see something very important, very unique. Can you read for me what it says here? He says, Ahmaq. Ahmaq. What Ahmaq mean? Uh, I don't know, but I think maybe it's someone who's stupid. Stupid, exactly. If you read together, me and you, you will see that a man, he is a very, very powerful man. He came to your prophet and he entered to the house of Muhammad without permission. Do you see it says here? Min ghayri isti'idhan. You see it? Yes. All right. Do you see here what it says before? Can you tell us what does that mean? Uh, yes, I can see He's asking to swap his wife. Exactly. So a man used to say to a man, exchange my your for your wife. And I will give you my wife. This is what? This is Tafsir al-Zamakhshari. 
and this is your Muslim box. And then it says here, فَيَنْزِلُ وَاحِدٌ كُلَّ وَاحِدٌ مِنْهُمَا and the امرأة صاحبه. And then each one of them, he go to the women who they exchange sex with. Do you see it? Okay. All right. This man, he entered to Muhammad. And he entered without even knocking the door. He just pushed the door and go because he don't care. So his name is uh, Aina ibn Husn. He entered upon the Prophet. And Aisha was with him without asking for permission. Do you agree with the translation? Yes, yes, I agree. Yeah. All right. I don't see a problem. All right. فقال يا رسول الله. فقال رسول الله. يا أين أين الاستدان? You did not ask for permission. Do you do you, understand, do you agree with it? Do you agree with translation? Uh, yes, 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 yes. Yeah. All right. The man answer said, <laughs> I never asked a man for permission all my life. Since I was a kid. Do you agree with that? Right? Um, I don't get this whole, I don't get the point of this. You will see. So the guy, he never take permission because he's very aggressive and nobody dare to question him. Then he said to Muhammad, who is this sexy next to you? Do you agree with that? And he said, this is Aisha. This is Aisha, the mother of the believers. Do you agree with translation? Uh, yes. All right. So the man is asking Muhammad, who is the sexy next to you? Muhammad, he said, this is Aisha, the mother of the believer. He did not say, don't speak like that. He said, this is Aisha, the mother of the believers. Aina said. <laughs> the guy. <laughs> he is asking Muhammad. And Muhammad negotiating with him. Should we exchange the best I have with the best you have? What? Yes, shall, I see that, yeah. Shall we exchange the one I have with the one you have? Translation here is not accurate. And then, Muhammad said to him, but Allah forbid that. Look at the coward, the guy, he just said to him, I want to F your wife. Muhammad did not say to him anything. He said, but Allah, he forbid that. When the man he left, Aisha, she said to him, Who is this, O Rasulullah? She said, Who is this, O Rasulullah? He said, he is, a, he, is a, he is a fool we have to obey. And as you see, he is the Lord of his people. What your prophet, he said? He is a fool, we have to obey. So if he insists to take you, he take you. And he is the master of his people. He is their king. So, okay. what, so what's the whole point of this? What the whole point? If a man, he enter upon your room, your house, without even permission, and he said, I want to F your wife. What do you say to him? You are a prophet of Allah. You claim to be the most honorable. You have the highest dignity. And you do nothing, you say nothing, or what you say. He is a fool. We obey. Ahmaqun muta. Ahmaqun muta. Translation is not too much accurate. Ahmaqun muta means a fool we have to obey. Okay, but how many times did Muhammad use the word Ahmaq? No, 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 this is not the issue. Muhammad describing the man fool after he left. He did not dare to say to him, you are a fool when he was standing, asking him to F his wife. He said he is a fool after the guy he left, and he said we have to obey. 
And as you see, he is the Lord of his own people. So why Muhammad he fear him? This guy is obviously very aggressive, is very powerful. He enter inside the house of Muhammad without permission. He asked Muhammad to if his women, in return he give him his women. What Muhammad did? Are you getting the point? He said, yes, sir, yes, sir. Ahmaqun, Are you saying, Ahmaqun, what are you saying? which means he is a fool, we have to obey. Obey what? What the man he asked for? He asked to if Aisha. Okay, what does this prove? That Muhammad is a pimp. In the, Come on, brother. In, the, in, in, the, in the video of Mimi, in the video of Mimi Hijab, he's talking about how brave Muhammad, how etc. The man pushed the door of his house. He entered his, inside his house. He said to him, give me your women, I give you my women. He was the sexy next to you. Muhammad, he said to him, this is the mother of the believers. Muhammad, uh, uh, the, uh, you know, the man, uh, he said, okay, give me, I want to if her. The Muhammad, he says, but Prophet, but Allah, he forbid that. That's it. And then the guy he left, Aisha, she asked her husband, who is this guy who speak to you like that? He said, he is a fool we have to obey. He have to obey what? I don't think it says obey. It says, Ahmaqun muta. Do you see it? Ahmaq, what Ahmaq mean fool? What Muta mean? Yeah. We, we obey. Obedient. No, not obedient. It's we obey. Muta is the one you obey. Not the one he is obedient. He is not obedient. As you see, he entered the house of Muhammad. But yeah, that doesn't that doesn't make sense. Obedient fool. What does that mean? It's like somebody who follows Muhammad, but he's just he's stupid. After he left, he did not dare to say to him, you are stupid when he was there. The guy he left, the coward Muhammad, he said to his wife, he is a fool we have to obey. And he said, and, and, and he continues saying, and he continues saying, and he is the master of his own people. Why he obey him? Why, he's, why, why Muhammad is obeying the man? Because... He is, you know, he is a master of his own people. He is aggressive, he is powerful, and Muhammad is a potato cow. Uh, do you think Muhammad is Superman or something? He can obviously defend himself in every situation. Oh, uh, he cannot. So uh, why the Muslim they are saying he is a brave, he is honorable. Do you have to be a Superman to... To say to a man, shame on you, get out of here. What are you talking about? The guy he just asked I think, you. I think it's, I, I, I think it's pretty brave said, to say. The guy he just said to Muhammad, who is the sexy next to you? The word alone is enough to, to take your sword and fight the man who is insulting you and your honor in your house. Muhammad did not do anything. The man continued saying, take the one, I will give you one, give me her. Muhammad told him, this is the mother of the believer, this is my wife. The man is still continues saying, you know what? I will give you the best I have, you give me the best you have. Muhammad, he did not say anything to the man. He just said, it is forbidden by Allah. And then when he left, Muhammad did not kick him out. Muhammad did not say any bad word to him. It says here, and when he left, Aisha, she asked Muhammad, who is this, O Messenger of Allah? He said, he is a fool, we have to obey. Explaining why he is obeying, saying, as you see, he is the master of his own people. Okay, so... Why, what time was this? I don't know, I don't, I don't have any context. I don't know what this is talking about. What well, I just read for you from the beginning. 
the 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 what is the context? The interpretation, why, why is he the interpretation, there? The interpretation, the interpretation, explain to you that the Muslims in the time of Muhammad, and this guy is a Muslim. This guy now is a Muslim. He entered upon Muhammad, and as you see, it says that people before Islam they used to exchange their wives. So the man he said to the other man, "Give me your women. I give you my women." And then the man, each one of them, he go to the women of the other one and he sleep with her and this is why they are connecting saying and it's mentioned that uh, Ayina ibn Hassan he entered upon the Prophet and Aisha she was with him in his room maybe she is naked without permission he did not even knock at the door he did not ask for permission he did not say excuse me he just pushed the door and enter without any permission Muhammad he said to him Oh, Ayina, don't you ask for permission? He said, I never ask permission any man in my life since I knew the life. So this is a guy nobody can dare. Nobody dare to ask him, what are you doing? He is very well known, powerful, aggressive uh, 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 fighter. And he is rude, obviously. He said, I never, ever, all my life, ask for permission from anybody what are you talking about Muhammad did not say to him do you know you are talking to who you idiot no Muhammad he shut up he did not say to him no I think I think what Muhammad did was he showed his his calmness his courage really his obedience to Allah so the guy, the guy he, he pushed the door on your uh, on your home and your wife next to you God knows what she is wearing and this is the prophet of Allah. And the man, he said to him, I never asked for permission <laughs> from anybody. <laughs> Muhammad did not say to him, at least, no, you know what? In my house, you ask for permission. Did he say to him that? No. No. I, the... think, I think this is a good example of Muhammad being very calm. And oh, that's very calm. Yeah. Exactly. This is the brave Muhammad. He's very calm. The guy, he just asked to if his wife. And then he said to him, who is this sexy next to you? Is that about you being calm? Is that how a man he speak about your wife? If I go to your house, I push the door. I don't say, excuse me, can I get in? You do not give me permission. I push the door of your apartment or your house. And then I ask you right away without even saying hello. Who is this woman, sexy woman next to you, huh? What is your response would be? I will be calm. I will be collected. I will say this is not allowed. You will say that's not allowed. And the man, yes. all right. But Muhammad, he did not say to him, it's not allowed. He says, Allah forbid that. He, he hide behind Allah. And when he left, Aisha, she said, who is this man? Oh, Rasulullah. He said he is a fool we have to obey. As you see, Muhammad explaining. He is the Lord, he is the master of his own people. So why Muhammad is afraid to stand for this man? For he is the master of his people and obviously he is an aggressive fighter. So Muhammad the coward, a man he asked him to F his wife in his prison, in front of him, in front of his wife, in his house. Muhammad never asked him, how dare you to enter my house like this? You said to me he was staying calm. But this is not the same Muhammad we know. Muhammad, he beat Muslims for any reason. Muhammad, Muslims, they come to him. You still, you still have to understand that the brother he left, he did not force himself, you know? So. Muhammad, he beat people for any reason. None of those reasons is even important. He, he, he whipped them, he whipped their back, he beat the hell of them because those are Muslims who they are afraid of him for he is the prophet of Allah. This guy, he don't give a damn, excuse me, for Muhammad claiming to be prophet or not. He pushed the door. Muhammad, he had many men to protect him, right? Still, he was terrified in front of this man. He is very well known that nobody can fight him. Nobody can stop him. As you see, the guy, he said, I never asked for permission all my life. <laughs> never. Since I was a kid. 
So this guy, obviously... Can you tell me who was narrating this? Uh, this is Al-Kashaf or al Here we go. This is Tafsir al zamakhshari I can show it even from Ibn Kathir. No, 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 I'm asking you who is narrating this. I don't care. This is your narration, Muslim's narration. Okay, but somebody has to narrate it, right? Yeah, somebody. It's you, Muslims. I'm reading your books. Because it, it, to me, it looks like there's only Aisha, Muhammad, and the man. Exactly, so exactly. One? So usually, all the hate like this is coming from Aisha. Aisha, she is the one who published the news of Muhammad Laundry, as usual. Right? Uh, why, did, why does she have so much hadith? Uh... What? Oh, okay, so... Um... I don't see a problem with this, to be honest with you. You don't see a problem? I don't see a problem. All right. This is the link for okay, those if, who they if, are. If, if he said, if he, if he, if he said, here, take her, then I, I may have a problem. So if a man, he but said, he, if a man, he come to your house, he push the door without permission, enter upon you and your privacy and your wife is there, and most of the women inside the house, they don't cover, and women they should not show their body or their hair that alone is not enough for you to be upset in the top of that the guy I he mean, asked, if, if he's, in the top of that the, uh, the guy he said to muhammad i never asked for permission did muhammad say to him well this is my house and when you come here you have to ask for permission did he say that to him no Well, you know, you have to choose your battles. Uh, you know, you uh, can't always be a, a Muslim, uh, fighting. A Muslim in Rumble said, Jamila does not mean sexy liar. Okay, can you tell me what Jamila mean? The one who said Jamila does not mean sexy. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Jamila means like somebody who's attractive. Beauty, sexy. <laughs> So Jamila, guys, doesn't mean sexy. <laughs> Jamil, Jamil, Jamil is a name that they give to boys, I think. No, Jamila is a, is a name usually given to girls. Jamil is for a guy, which is a stupid yeah, name. Yeah, Jamil, yeah. Yeah, it's a stupid name. It, doesn't, you don't it means, hand, I think it means handsome boy or something. Uh, yeah, uh, you know, but it, it shouldn't say that to a man. Anyway, so did your prophet say to him, shame on you to speak about my wife like this? No. Or what he said, the man he just asked him, who is this sexy next to you? Muhammad, he said, responding, explaining, this is the mother of the believers. The man, he heard Muhammad saying, this is the mother of the Muslims. What he said? Shouldn't I give you, yeah, the, shouldn't I give you the best I have and you give me the best you have to F? Muhammad, he said, Allah, he forbid that. He did not say to him, get out of here of my house. He did not say to him, I'm going to punish you for saying that. He did not say to him, this is, okay, as long as it's forbidden, shouldn't this man be punished for what he just asked for? Why would he be punished? He could be useful in the battlefield. You know, so ah, okay. So the guy he wanna f Muhammad wife, and he is useful in the battlefield. Uh, I see. He could be useful. Why would you kill your your uh, your best fighters? Your best. Uh, so it doesn't if, make any so sense. So how he is the best fighter, uh, and uh, uh, he is useful in the battlefield. But he is coming to the house of Muhammad to F his wife in the presence of the Prophet. Sometimes you have to tolerate some people, you know. Uh, it's just how it so is. So this is because he is tolerating a guy who came and he asked him to F his wife. Look, man, I don't see a problem with this. Do you have any other example? Any you want more examples? Because honestly, I don't see. It. Look, if he said, "Yeah, take Aisha," and maybe I will agree with you. No, he agreed. But he he agreed. No, that. no, no. He agreed. He says, "Ahmaqun muta." He is a fool. We have to obey. He is a fool. We have to obey. Which means, if he insists, he will take you. He did not say we cannot obey. 
He said he is a fool, we have to obey. And he said, why? He said, and as you see, he is the master of his people. This guy obviously have a massive tribe behind him. If Muhammad dare to question what he is saying, Muhammad would become a shish kebab. Yeah, look, I'm not convinced by this one, honestly. You don't want... I think this one is okay. This one is okay? I think this one is okay. Oh, okay. This yeah. one is okay, yeah. All right, that one is okay. Well, I know, as long as it's okay for you, that's uh, that's a good thing. Who is a Muslim here? He can explain to us better uh, answer from... Uh, that this one is okay. Who is a Muslim? He can... He's willing to come to the microphone and say to us that if a man come to your house, he push the door without permission. He said he want to if your wife. You say to him, you say to your wife, after after he left, the coward Muhammad did not dare to call the man a fool in his prison. Look how look how coward Muhammad is. He did not school him, he did not shame him, he did not say a single negative word to him. All what he said to him, oh, this is forbidden by Allah. What? Huh? Aisha, she said, who is this guy who speak to you like this? How he can talk to you like this? Muhammad, he said to her, well, as you see, he is a fool we have to obey. He is a fool. We have to obey. And why? For he is the master of his people. Where is the brave Muhammad Mimi Hijab was speaking of in his video? We have a, a Muslim in Discord, his name is Dajaja. Mr. Dajaja, which means chicken. Why you don't come to the mic and chicken on us? Are you chicken like Muhammad? Are you a chicken like Muhammad, Mr. Dajaja? Do you know even what Dajaja means? How you call yourself Dajaja? Any Abdul? Who is Abdul? And explain to us. Mimi Hijab was talking about hero, a guy who go to war, but Muhammad never go to war. Huh. Muhammad is a coward. He's a potato. He don't even know how to hold a to, to hold a, a sword. All what they said about Muhammad, the brave man, is a joke. Okay. I think we have some Muslims in this court. Who want to join us? Anyone? Listen carefully. If you join us and you get us busted, Allah will bless you. Somebody, his name is John. He is a Muslim undercover. He says, I don't believe you learned this from CP. I don't see an argument. <laughs> Well, you know, come to my house and say to me, I want to, if your wife, break the door on my house or push the door without permission and say to me, I will F your wife and then I will show you what I will do. And then now, look like all of them, they are a bunch of pimps. And then now they don't know what's the problem. The Muslims in this court, guys, they are saying, what's the problem? What is the argument? If I get married, Come to my house and do what this guy did, and I will show you what I will do to you. A man, he enter your house without permission, which means he break in. And he said, who is the sexy next to you? Maybe Muhammad in the bed. Muhammad, he said, the mother of the believer. He did not say, don't call her like this. Don't talk about her like this. Muhammad even asked him, "Why? how you enter the house without permission? The guy said to him, I never asked for permission all my life. Did Muhammad the brave says to him, well, this is my house, you coward. You never enter here without permission. Muhammad, he act like a chicken, afraid and scared of a man. Why is afraid? Muhammad answer why? 
Muhammad he called the man a fool after he left how come Muhammad did not dare to call him a fool when he was there shouldn't Muhammad he said to him you fool how you enter my house like this how you speak about my wife like that what is the honor of the man is that the honorable prophet or it's a pimp who asked his wife to open her legs to make money from her in a camera. In the top of that, your prophet, he says, he is a fool we have to obey. He did not say we will not obey. He said we have to obey. And he explained to Aisha why she said, he said, as you see, as you see, he is the master of his people. Is what? He is the leader of his people. He is a fool. We have to obey. Uh, John, he say, said to me, who is a Muslim, don't talk about legs and vagina, you tempt us. You know, there is no, I mean, are you going to be tempted by your female organs? Get out of here. I don't have time for kids. Do we have any Muhammadan? This is your faith, your prophet, the one you talk about him, Mimi Hijab. This is a response to the scumbag Mimi Hijab, insulting Jesus, putting him down, speaking about the virtue of Muhammad, who is nothing but a scumbag. Anyway, I'm not done. Let us show you more proof that Muhammad is a big fat coward. We are not done. I can give you. Reference from now until the coming century. Let us open this one. And this is the link. All of you save it. Let us post it in Rumble, in YouTube, and everywhere. And again, if you do not know Arabic in the previous link, you can always use Google Translation. Read with me this story here. The coward Muhammad. A man asked permission to see Prophet. This guy, he asked for permission. Muhammad, as you see, nobody dared to enter the house of Muhammad without permission. Let him enter. Right? You see it? Okay. What an evil man of a tribe he is. Hold on. The man asked for permission. This is a different man. But this man is very well known. No kidding with him. So Muhammad, he said, before he enter, what an evil man of the tribe he is. So now we know that Muhammad, he knew who is this man very well. He is an evil man. Between two brackets, or what an evil brother of the tribe he is. But when he entered, the prophet spoke to him gently in a polite manner. I said to him, who's talking Aisha? Oh Allah, Apostle, you said what have you have said. Then you spoke to him in a very gently and polite manner. The Prophet, he said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the worst of people in the sight of Allah are those whom uh, people leave uh, 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 undisturbed uh, to save themselves from their dirty language. What? What, 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 what? He badmouthed the guy before he enter when the guy he enter Muhammad he start kissing his ass do you see it he call him evil he is bad he is disgusting you know the guy he enter yeah <laughs> sit down please sit down how are you doing <laughs> yeah please yeah okay. you know what happened so Aisha she was looking at, at her husband I mean, the, the, the husband changed. The husband was uh, aggressive, calling the guy names before he got in. And as soon he got in, the prophet become a chicken. What? Chicken. Uh... And Muhammad, he said, 
I am doing this as taqiyya. In fact, I don't know if you see the word in Arabic. It says here, I'm doing taqiyya. Ittiqa. I did taqiyya for he is bad. Is that true, Muslims? You're a prophet. He is doing taqiyya. He is afraid and scared of this man. Am I lying? What taqiyya mean? Protection. Here it's uh, translate as war, uh, warness. <laughs> Muhammad protecting himself from this man. Aisha, she could not believe her husband how he changed. A second ago he was a lion, a second after he became a cat. Meow. Yes, sir. Sit down, sir. How are you doing, sir? Would you like to drink, sir? It's coffee, tea? Aisha, mix, mix anything for him. Aisha was looking, what, what happened to my husband? He just said this guy is very evil. In a minute, the prophet, he switched to the potato mood. Are we lying, Muslims? Huh? Are we lying? Are, are we done yet? No. I hope Mimi Hijab he is happy for insulting Jesus. I will wipe the floor with my uh, without using it. Read with me. That's why they didn't dare to debate me. They go to, to debate everybody except me, the cowards, sons of Muta. Uh not this one, hold on. <laughs> Potato, potato, potato. Potato, potato, potato. All right. Yeah, I just see this one actually. Why not? I mean, this one is fine. All right. Is that the one? Let us see. We want Al Bukhari. No, this is not Al Bukhari. Okay. You know, the Muslims, they like Al Bukhari, so we have to show them Al Bukhari. All right. Where is the hadith? Oh, here we go. Yeah, we want this one. Let us see. Guys, read read this one with me. <laughs> the potato Muhammad. Some silken cloaks with golden buttons were presented to the prophet. He distributed them among his companion and kept one for Makarama. Who? Makarama ibn Nawfal, the son of Nawfal. Later, Makarama came along with his son, Al Miswar ibn Makarama. He stood up at the gate and he said to his son, Call him. Guys, do you see the language? He's talking to Muhammad like a dog. Call him. I.e. the prophet to me. Call him to what? To me. Who is going to come to who? Are you are, guys, do you understand what's, what's happening? Call him to me. You see, who is the, who is the master who is, I mean, so imagine like somebody going to meet with the president and then you tell the, you, you know, uh, call him here. <laughs> call him to me. 
the prophet listen carefully what happened so uh, al miswar ibn makrama stood up at the gate and said to his son call him i.e the prophet to me the prophet he heard his voice he took the silicon clock which he want to give him and right away he come to him like a puppy placing those golden buttons in the front of him saying ho oh, oh, abu uh, al miswar I have kept this aside for you. <laughs> Not only that, guys. And look how many times Muhammad he, what he said. Look, oh, 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 oh Abu Muswar, I, I have kept this outside for you. Uh, oh, Abu Muswar, the Muhammad is begging him. I have kept. This is side for he repeating the same sentence. Do you see how scared Muhammad is? Do you see how scared he is? He is repeating the same sentence, very submissive, exactly. At the end of the hadith, what it does say, guys? What it says at the end of the hadith? Makrama was a bad-tempered man. <laughs> now we know the brave Muhammad, why he is sitting in his pant. This guy is an aggressive man. And obviously he have a bunch of fighters. Muhammad is no match for. Muhammad now, he is bribing him. And look how he become like a cat, you know. I mean, guys, imagine. I wish I can make like an, an act about this, like bring a, somebody tell uh, David Wood to do that. He, he liked to do, uh, you know, acting and uh, with his friends. So the guy, Muhammad already, he was presented with, uh, uh, like he, they have a, a clock, silicon clocks with golden buttons. It's very expensive. And then he distributed them among, and those, by the way, they are theft. Those are not like something he bought. The guy, Makrama, uh, Muhammad, right away, he kept one to Makrama. D do you see how much he is thinking about him? He kept it for him right away. He knew it was going to come. It's like, you know, uh, like uh, uh, like the mafia, you know, they come to you and says, where is my uh, share? <laughs> so he kept one to Makrama. And Makrama, he came later with his son. And what he said to his son, call him to me. Call him to me. Who is the boss? Who is the coward? Who is the brave? Makrama was a bad-tempered man. Any Abdul? Momo? Hello? Yes, you are not a Muslim, right? Yes. Well, you are you are a Muslim or not? Yes. You are a Muslim? I'm Muslim. All right. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. What do you think about your prophet, a man asking him to if his wife and Muhammad, he says we have to obey? I joined, um, I just joined in now. I don't know what the conversation was about. The conversation is, as you see, a man, he entered your prophet. Yeah, because I just want to have an intellectual debate with you, okay? No problem. We are doing that right now. So, because yeah, my friend recommended me to you, so I don't know. Wonderful, wonderful. That's wonderful. Uh, say thank you to your friend. So here it's, no, it's you, you know Arabic, right? No. You don't know Arabic? No. Okay. Uh, if I give you the, the link, and can you use Google Translation? Yes, I can. This is the link. Open it. This is Tafsir Al Kashaf Al And this give is one moment. And this is the link I just gave it to you in. Uh, yep, I see it right now. All right. Here it says, and I'm going. I'm going to show you the translation. It says here, At-Tabaddul, who are min al-Badal. 
Muslims, the, the Arab, the tribe of Muhammad, used to F the wives of each other. Is that correct? That's not correct, man. Well, let us see what it says here. Here we go. This is a Show me. All right. Translate the first line here. It says that a man he used to come to exchange is the one to exchange. That occurred pre-Islamic time where a man would say to a man, exchange me with, for your wife. And I will exchange you for my wife, and each of them would give up his wife to the other. So do yeah, you... I don't, I don't see a problem with that. No problem. What's the issue here? The issue here is that a man, he is a Muslim. He come to Muhammad. He enter. His name is Ayna. It says here, Ayna ibn Husn. He enter upon the Prophet, and Aisha was with him without permission. And then he said. The Prophet, he said to, uh, to Ayina, shouldn't you ask for permission, Ayina? The man, he said, I never asked for permission from anyone all my life. So Muhammad, he don't dare even to say to him, well, you should ask for permission. This is my house. You don't enter like this. And then the man, he said to him, and let us translate this part. You can use the translation. Alhamdulillah. Uh -huh. So he said, the Messenger of Allah, I have never asked a permission from any man since I come to know, like to, to know life, which means to become capable of knowing things. And then he says, who is this pretty sexy next to you? The man, he said to Muhammad, who is this pretty sexy next to you? The prophet, he said, this is the mother of the believers. This is the mother of the believers. Ayina said, shouldn't I give you the best I have and you give me the best you have? which means to if her. The Messenger of Allah, he says, Allah forbid that. When this man, he left the house, Muhammad, until now, he did not say to him, shame on you. He did not say, I will punish you. The guy, he just asked to save his wife. When the man, he left, Aisha, she said to Muhammad, who is this, O Messenger of Allah? He said, as you see, he is a fool, we have to obey. And as you see, he is the master of his own people. We have what? We have to obey. So the man who is a questioning Muhammad about Aisha, he wanted to if her. Muhammad, he described him as a fool, we have to obey. And Okay, he, but what's your problem with our prophet? He is the best of mankind. The guy he just asked, okay, so if a guy, I'm not, I'm not trying to insult you, but I'm just saying for the sake of argument, a man, he entered to your house, he pushed the door without permission, he, you, he found your wife next to you, he said to you, who is your, the sexy woman? You say to him, this is the mother of the believer. He says, can I if her? What do you say to him? Are you there? But is yeah, is that truly what happened or, or is that false? It's in front of you. Is that fabrication? It's in front what do you mean this is what happened? This is what happened. It's this is the Sir al Kashaf, this is the Makhshari. Yeah, but, but Muslim women are very modest. I Muslim men are protective. Muslim women are very modest. Are you sure? Yes. So isn't it your prophet who order Muslim women to give their booze to strangers? Have you seen the American women these days, Christian? Have you seen the Christian women? Are you, are you talking about Christian women or American women? Christian women who do only fans. Have you seen them? You do and they claim in the name of Jesus. You, you, you do only what? Yeah, the only fans where they sell the vagina. Ah, look like you are watching those kind of women. They are not Christians, obviously. But... Uh, but, you know, as long as you are talking about vagina, shall we talk about vagina? I have no issue. <laughs> shall we talk about vagina? If you want to talk about vagina, we can talk about vagina. But I'm trying. Listen, I'm here to talk today. I mean, there's no oh. necessary to bring. Okay. This, okay. A Muslim woman, she have how many vagina? Just the one. The one. False. Just one. According to Muslims, her voice is a vagina. Her hair is a vagina. Her face is a vagina. Her hand is a vagina. Her feet is a vagina. And her vagina is a vagina, and her anus is a vagina. However, if we go right now to YouTube and we search what Muslim women they do wearing the hijab, shall we do that? Shall I show you, or you don't want to see? Well, have you slept with a Muslim woman before? Uh, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not a pig, my friend. 
How many Muslim on your step with before? Just nine. You step with none? Just nine muta. Muta marriage. You do muta? Yeah. So you were talking about those only fan, whatever you call them, but you Muslim women, they rent themselves to you? It's permissible by Allah. Yeah, but a second ago you are talking about Muslim women are very. Uh... Yeah, it's, it's not a sin, though. What? CP, you got on this. It's not a sin. It's not a sin. Yeah. So what is thin in Islam? I mean, your wife she is renting well, her. God, God made so it lawful. Did your wife? By, she, did your wife? God. Did your wife she rent herself to you before you she become your wife, or she rent herself so, to other? Let women? me let me ask you this, CP. Is your God so perfect? My God is so perfect. Is it? Well, he, his God, so for sure he's perfect. Is your God is perfect? Okay, mm, okay. I got you busted now. Oh, That's okay. all I wanted. Oh, okay. Is your God perfect? So explain, explain, you know, now while we're on the topic, okay? Uh -huh. He's so merciful, right? Okay. Explain the verse Hosea thirteen sixteen. Can you read it out to your chat with me, please? You, you can, you can read it for us, but you are trying to change topic, right? No, 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 no. Explain this one. Since he's so merciful, he's so perfect. Yeah. What you want to read it out to them, or should I? Okay, read it for us. Okay, no problem. But I, the I, people but I, of but I, want, but I want you to promise me uh, mm. that if I uh, you will not jump like a monkey from a place to place, right? Sure. All right. So now in in uh, uh, Hosea, uh, Hosea uh, does it say? Yeah. Does it say? Does it say? Does it say, kill, does it, does it say kill people? Yes. All right. Is that bad or good? That's for me. It's not bad. So because it's God. It's so why, God's command. So why, so why you are quoting this for me? But you crit you criticize Muhammad. Muhammad is a coward. You know, I I wish he killed the man who asked him to if his wife. He did not. <laughs> So you are quoting for me a verse from the Bible showing that those those men are brave, like now what they are doing in Gaza. They go after the dogs of Hamas. They find them like rats. Do you, you want me to read they it out to you, or so you now, just want to talk? So you change the topic from talking about. I'm your... not changing the topic. We were talking about about what we were talking about Muslim women. About how your God was so we merciful talking... and so perfect. This no? is not... the mercy. The mercy of God is. I'm not here to talk about is... vagina. Okay, I'm is... here to have as I said from the beginning. You know, CP. Seriously, my God, listen, listen, my friend. My from the beginning. My from the beginning. God, my God. Listen, listen. Let me debate. let me make it summary. Let me vagina. make it summary for you. My God is not merciful for the wicked men and wicked people. Isn't it? My God is the one who burns Saddam and Gomorrah. Isn't it my God who made the blood? Shut up. Isn't it, isn't it my God who caused Muhammad to die by poison like a rat? Isn't it my God he made you a joke because you follow Muhammad? So my God punished the wickedness. He is pushing it. Look, here we go. My, my God is using me to punish the wicked Muslims and Muhammad in his grief. And you cannot answer. Look at you. Instead of telling me how your prophet allow Muslim men to ask him to F his wife in his prison, and your prophet don't dare to say anything, to do anything. And not yeah, only, that's because King not, Solomon. Yeah, King, only, okay. Let's, and no, not no, only King that, Solomon and not, wives. And not okay. only and not only that. No, 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 no. Let me pushing around. You are talking and then you are switching straight away. Let me have talk. You talk, but let's have a proper debate. We are not debating. You come You are no match to debate. You can. You think you can debate me? You have made you've made okay. no valid points. All, All right. this talking, you've made no, you made. You, no, you change the topic. You talk me. about Hosea. You we are me. talking about vagina. You're you a mentioned. joke. So listen, listen. So when your prophet he command your wife to give her boobs, and you said to me, you must then you practice muta. What kind of a man he is? I mean, muta is about renting women, correct? Muta is about uh, lawful marriage. About what? It's about lawful marriage, uh, temporary marriage. How it is? How it is temporary, and you call it marriage? This is a, it's temporary marriage. What else do you want me to explain? How you call it temporary? And does it for long? All right. So, uh, Mumu. Thank listen. you.
Momo, uh, listen to me carefully. Yeah. yeah, I'm listening, man. All right. So now, when when you say that you do muta, how how many days the muta is? I only do muta with Christian girls. Oh, okay. Well, is uh, is that your mom? Come on, man. Right, get out of here. I don't have time for stupid stuff. You do muta. Your prophet do you know allow you to do muta so he can if your you know your mama. So, you know, even the hadith says, any woman, the prophet, he see her, her eyes fall in her, uh, her husband must divorce her so he can F her. We don't make things up. I can show it to you right now. You are coming here to insult. I'm coming here to prove a point. This is your faithy prophet. And this is Al Qurtubi, and this is the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and Jordan. It says clearly that if the Prophet's eyes fall into a woman, her husband must divorce her immediately. Are we lying? This is Tafsir Al Qurtubi. All right. And this is the official government website of the King of Jordan. And here it says, if his eyes fall into a woman, Muhammad, he have 16 privilege, most of them about six. But I, for me, I found this one is the most horrible, number 10. If his eyes fall into a woman, she is married, her husband must divorce her immediately so the prophet can f her this is what this is a privilege number 10 10 if he sees a woman her husband must divorce her and it is permissible for him to marry her all right let us use this with this guys the guy he entered into muhammad asking him to exchange women did muhammad forbidden exchange or still he do that he still do that and they're proven in front of you. Is that correct? He is taking the wife of a married man, forcing him, forcing him to leave the women for him. Going back to the book of Al Kashaf, the man he came to Muhammad, he says to him, What about I give you a woman to F, you give me your wife to F? What Muhammad he said to him, it's forbidden. Is it really forbidden? No. Because as you see here, Tafsir al Qurtubi, if his eyes fall into a woman, her husband must divorce her. So Muhammad here is trying to do what? What that guy was trying to do to his wife. He go to Muhammad's house, his eyes fall into the woman, Aisha. He said he want to F Aisha. Muhammad did not dare to, 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 to punish him, to question him. And instead he says he is a fool we have to obey. However, the hypocrite Muhammad, he go to the house of Muslim men and scumbag Mimi Hijab speaking about the virtue of Prophet Muhammad. But if a Prophet Muhammad, he go to the house of Mimi Hijab and his eyes fall into the butt of Mimi Hijab wife, the Prophet will F his wife. Am I insulting? No, I'm just reading what it says there. Do you see it? Do you see it? Privilege number 10. If the prophet eyes fall into a woman, her husband must divorce her so he can have her. Is that the interpretation of a Christian prince? No. Is that a book written by the Jews? No. Hindus? No. Muslims? And this is their top scholars. al qurtubi So do you see the virtue of Prophet Muhammad? There is nothing but a scumbag. Men, they want to F his wife in his present. He says, we have to obey. Men, they break inside his house. He don't defend his wife. A man, he came to his house and Muhammad came out like a puppy. Kissing his butt. Just because he is an aggressive, well-known aggressive man.
someone saying Turkey is getting more religious now well I don't know about religious the night the clubs of Turkey are never closed and nobody dare to close them for the major population of Turkey is a prostitution I can tell you become more religious Turkey never been religious because during the time of the Ottoman it was the most corrupt state ever prostitution the Sultan he used to have tens of thousands of hookers in his palace and you say to me religious nice try nice try in fact in Turkey you have a belly dancers who they are women not on sorry men not only women any Abdul who is a bad temper Muslim his name is Makram I want to talk to me because I will be intimidated Makrama, he come to Muhammad and he called his, he said to his son, call him to me, call him to me. And Muhammad came out of his house like a puppy and he brought the gift to him like a puppy. And guys, when he say, when somebody says to you, oh, oh, Abu Miswar, I have, I kept, I have kept this for you aside. Oh, Abu Miswar, I have kept this aside. Do you understand how scared Muhammad is? Guys, do you understand? Why I want to say, why Muhammad, why Muhammad is talking like this? Oh, sir, oh, sir, sir, I keep this one for you, sir. You know, like the guy, I mean, he is a chicken. Where is Muhammad the brave? You know, what happened? And who, who should come to who? Call him to me. Call him to who? This is your chicken. Any Abdul? The vision of Islam creating world uh, caliphate. Listen, there is no vision about that. You know, those Muslims, it's, a, it's an opportunity. Muhammad, he was successful at the end of his life. It's a business now. It's a corporation, you know, and then they try to fight over it. But it's not, there is no vision. There is, I mean, the same time, Muhammad, he did not, he was not able to establish a united country or united kingdom because simply he allowed Muslims to kill Muslims. So there is no vision. And you will never have a caliphate because Muslims, they will kill him. Uh, if we ask now the Muslims who want to be the caliphate, uh, the crown prince of Saudi Arabia said me the king of Jordan he says no I am from the sons of Muhammad the king of Morocco he says I am from the sons of Muhammad because Muhammad was you know uh, he was a gay the guy he can't even F uh, I mean you will find a guy from Indonesia claim he is from the family of Muhammad even Indonesian you know I mean the guy Indonesia yeah they have people they claim Indonesia they are from the shore of everybody want to be caliphate Baghdadi want to be caliphate, Osama bin Laden want to be caliphate, Taliban want to be caliphate, Erdogan want to be caliphate, and all of them we give them a finger at the end of the day. Do we have any caliphate? Hmm? Muslims, since Muhammad died, they are killing each other about who want to be the caliphate they killed even the grandsons of muhammad the family of muhammad the daughter of muhammad the cousin of muhammad just about the caliphate for it's about money why there's no caliphate today there was never a caliphate before too it was just a gang you see what muhammad he did you see those people here as you see muhammad he he used them to establish his uh, uh, so-called prophethood those are criminals but Muhammad, he feared them. They called them al muallafa Qulubahum, which means those who don't believe, but Muhammad paid them money. So those people didn't even believe, but Muhammad paid them money. And he paid them money for one reason. He needed their protection. But later, those people, they took over. Like uh, Bani Umayyah, the Caliphate of Umayyah, they called them, them Caliphate. But they are not the caliphate, really. They are, they hijack everything. They killed uh, Ali and his family, and you know, they, 
they, they killed tons of thousands of Muslims. They don't care for Islam. They, they were just seeking money. Islam is not, never was about religion. You see, the reason Christians, they can live if they pay, because Islam never was about religion. If Muhammad is a decent and he is caring really for his God, he don't accept anyone to worship anyone beside Allah, he will not accept the Christians to live if they pay him. So now I can worship Jesus if I give you money? What happened to the one who want to fight for the sake of Allah? Right? Which one Muhammad he favor? Allah or money? Obviously money. You give him money, you live, you worship Jesus, you call Jesus God. Muhammad have no problem, as long as you pay him money. So which one Muhammad he favor? He didn't work for God, he worked for money, he want the money. Any Muhammadan? Did we take reference, guys? Did we save reference of what we show you today? I hope so. I can, you know, we can show more and more. But this guy, you know, a potato. Muhammad is a certified potato. We can show you tons of evidence of how stupid coward he is. Any Muhammadan would like to join us? Anyone? You know, the funny is, let me see if I can find the hadith where it says that Aisha, she gets so upset. You see, not all hadith, they show you what happened exactly. Aisha, she was very upset of what happened. And Muhammad, he says, he is a fool we have to obey. Let me see if I can find the other hadith. Let us see. Because there's a hadith where Aisha, she, it says Aisha, she was very upset. I mean, do you see, Aisha, the female, she got so upset and the coward Muhammad, he never get upset. This is how filthy he is. I'm trying to show you the other one. Half is Dr. Nag. This guy is, is joking. I, I don't want to. Uh, uh, Aisha get upset and Muhammad did not get upset. Coward pimp. Literally. I could not find, but let me see if I can find this one. It will work. Let us see this one. <clears throat> I 
Look what it says here. The same hadith, but here it says that when he entered to, into Muhammad, he saw, found Aisha, and he told him he wanted to if Aisha. Uh, it says here, Aisha, she was listening, so she got so angry. And she said, who is this? Which means, who is this talking to you like this? He said, he is a fool we have to obey. Do you see? It says she got angry. Aisha was listening, so Aisha got angry and said, Who is this? The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, This is an obedient fool, and as you see, he is the master of his people. He is the master of his people. We have to obey him. Aisha, she got upset. Muhammad never get upset. For sure she would be upset. He just asked to F her in the front of her husband. And the husband did nothing. He is literally a pimp. Any Abdul? Anyone? If you are a Muslim and you are listening, ask yourself, a man, he entered your house without permission, he said to you, I want to F your wife. What do you do? What do you do? You just say to him, it's haram? You don't even kick him out? Any Muslim? That's it? Is that how brave the Prophet? What happened to the virtue of Prophet Muhammad? He was brave. You know, all what we see that Muhammad is a, is a pimp. He's a coward. He's a potato. Who dare to go even to see someone in the street and say to him, I want to F your wife? In the street, not in his house. In his house. He's the prophet of Allah. The, the Prophet and Allah with him and the angels and, and Aisha she is looking at her husband my husband is just a potato the guy he just asked him to if her and the husband he says Walaikum as salam and I was alan 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 atafaddal ya rajul falafel falafel hummus you want hummus just leave Aisha alone please you know she is the mother of the believers the guy said so what he told him she is sexy I want it the man, what Muhammad said? He didn't say, shame on you, you idiot. Don't you know that she is my wife? No, oh, Muhammad. Oh, she is the mother of the believer, okay? As she was looking at her husband. What happened to the husband? The husband became hummus. Where is the brave Muhammad? You know, the sponsored by Allah. The angels will fight with you. Do you remember the story of Muhammad when he fought with Aisha herself? Anyone remember? When Aisha and Hafsa uh, they fought with Muhammad Allah, he sent an army to defend Muhammad Who came to, to help Muhammad? Just two, two, two females just for the sake of two females, look how many Allah he sent. If you tween, who talking about who? Aisha and Hafsa. Who? We're not talking about fighting an army. Aisha and Hafsa. Take a beer. If you two, the wives of Prophet Muhammad, namely Aisha and Hafsa, turn in repentance to Allah, it will be better for you. If your heart in, in your heart indeed is so inclined, inclined so it, to oppose the prophet and then he continues saying but if you help one another against him what will happen verily Allah is his protector are we done no and Zibril if, 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 if. are we done no and the righteous Muslims oof, 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 oof. 
and the believers. If, 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 if. And furthermore, the angels are his help. All of this to fight to women. Do you see how coward the man is? Muhammad to fight two of his wives. He need an army and the army including Allah, Jibreel, all the angels and all the Muslims. To fight two women. That's why Muhammad, when this guy, he said to him, I want to if your wife, what Muhammad do? Nothing. He said to his wife, he is a fool, we have to obey. And by the way, I have to agree here. I mean, two women, one man, we know is going to lose. I mean, at that time, they don't have long nails. Those, you know, fake ones and cetera, you know, they don't sharp them. So now imagine, at that time, Muhammad, he need Allah and Jibreel and all the angels and every single believer to fight two women. Today, who can stop them? Police? No. The FBI? No. CIA? Keep trying. I mean, just don't even try. Do you know what they buy from Amazon? Just go check, go check out. Long high heels. I mean, this one alone, it, it go in your head straight coming from your nose. So Muhammad is right about this scenario. Two women. And the, the, they say to you, is the man, Muhammad, he is a masculine, you know, like he is the man in control of the house. I, I can't tell. I can't tell. He could not control them. He is using Allah to control them. He could not control them. This is not a statement of a person who is controlling his house. And this is long before high heels and long, sharp nails exist. You know? So... If Muhammad is see what we have now, man. I mean, these days they make even breast uh, surgery. The women, her boobs become like a watermelon. She can hit you with one of them. She can break your head. A boob, you know? The only thing about those fake boobs is like the flood. If the flood came, you know, we will not be worried. Just hold one of them. It will be floating. Any Abdul? This is the man who is the virtue of Prophet Muhammad, the hero, the, the coward. Two women, he need all of those to fight them. Two women in his house. This is your prophet. Are we making things up? They call them eyelashes, my friend, for a reason. You just you just told the problem. It's, it's called eyelashes. Those are not for anything except to lash you with it. You get it? That's why they call him lashes. Like, you know, in the old days, if somebody do something wrong, they say they lash him 100 times. Right? Those are eyelashes. They don't even use their hands these days. They just lash you with their eyes. I saw of them, even some, they are made of steel. You know, she can cut you pieces with it. I saw one woman, she have eyelashes like those. She cut the watermelon pieces, slices. You know, she sliced the watermelon with them. Just, you know, clink. Don't even get it close. Now we understand the scenario of Prophet Muhammad. He understands what's going on. He's smart. So he said to himself, I'm not going to fight with those two women. They will break me pieces. You know, sharp teeth, long nails, high heels. And you know, they bite. So what he do? He go and he make a drama. All right, guys. I'm not going to keep you longer. Take the reference. Share it with your friends. And obviously, esteemed Prophet Muhammad is nothing but a pimp. Pimp. A man asked him to F his wife. The Prophet, he did not dare to say, shame on you. And I say to Mimi Hijab, who says the virtue of a Prophet Muhammad got busted. Your Prophet gets screwed. Literally. Thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you. And they will see you soon again. God is good. So is Jesus. Amen. Thanks.